This is Grandfather. Now, last week, I talked a little bit about how Mother Earth is transforming, and because you are physically made up of Mother Earth, that you would be transforming as well. But this week, I want to be a bit more specific and talk about some of the transformations that are already underway. One of them is this. When your physical body is transforming the way Mother Earth is transforming, you'll notice that things tend to be a bit more sudden. Not only do things suddenly happen around you, but you might suddenly happen around others. Now let me explain what that means. It means that Mother Earth is speaking, you might say, with a voice that is quite distinctly heard. And she'll do that with her wind, her rain, amongst other things, eh, lightning, She'll also do that with her motions. Now with wind, how that compares to a human being, that would be not just your breath, but also your spoken word, because that is something that you utilize to breathe, yes? And uh, with that air moving through your vocal cords and your lips and so on, comes the tones of your language. You don't necessarily have lightning, but the expression in your eyes, that has to do with light. It also has to do with spirit and personality. All right? Now, you don't make earthquakes but you find these days that you are moving quicker. And by moving quicker, I don't just mean that you're rushed to do things. Rather, I mean that you will very often, without actually knowing how to do something, be able to do it suddenly, as if you've always been able to do that. I'm not trying to say rush in and do things you don't know how to do, but just notice that what you are doing, very often after the fact, you might think to yourself, I didn't even know I could do that. It might be a surprise to you that you could do something and you did. And uh, that's that. So those are things that are quickly observable. But there's more. You'll also find that there will be a tendency by you no matter what the conditions, and by others, to speak your truth, sometimes a little more bluntly, meaning suddenly, than you would intend to do. So if other people do that with you, try not to get offended. What's really going on is not, how can we say, an intention to offend, but an intention to be clear, without any confusion, without any doubt, but absolute clarity. This is the way Mother Earth is speaking now, and this is the way you will, without really wanting to at times, be speaking as well. Now, you don't have to do that in a way that sounds angry, but I do want you to examine the way you'd normally talk. Do you pause? That's okay, but when you speak, are you clear? Do you come to the point? So, rather than get self-conscious and think about every word you're going to say before you say it, try to notice other people. You probably know somebody now who speaks and says something right clearly to the point without doubt. You don't have to pattern yourself after them but just use what they are doing to give yourself permission to speak clearly. You can be polite. It is not an excuse to uh, give up 
being polite, being kind, being, in short, ways you would like other people to be with you. But it is a time to be clear and leave no doubt as to either what you are feeling, what you are thinking, or in the case of leadership, what you are requesting others to do. This is particularly important these days because one of the side effects of that is that some of you, not all, but some of you will be less patient than you used to be. Now, it is a curious thing that because one of the things you are all here to learn is patience on the physical plane. You all have patience on the spiritual plane when you are your soul self or your spirit self, you understand? That is natural to you. But in order to have patience on the physical plane, you need to come here, live your life, and discover that some things just take a while to happen. It can be in the middle of the night, and you might want the day to come, but you just have to wait, don't you? It'll be a while before the sun comes up. Conversely, you might want the stars and the moon to be out. You just have to wait. And there's other things you know. There's more. There are changes happening within you. Some of you will notice some curiosities with your heartbeat. I'm not talking about anything medical, meaning no diseases, but your heart might suddenly speed up and then slow down. This will happen for no reason. You could be sitting down. As long as you don't have any medical conditions that are associated with that, I don't want you to worry about it. All right? If you have some condition like that, yes, tell your doctor. That's fine. But if you don't have a condition like that and your heart doesn't speed up too much, just a little bit, like, for instance, if you just had three or four sips of coffee, your heart speeds up a bit, you understand, or it beats more firmly, but you haven't had any coffee or tea. Don't worry about that. That's your body adapting. If it happens regularly and uh, uncomfortably, then tell your doctor. But I'm mentioning it because it's another physical change going on for you. There's one more that I will say, and I will say more another time. But this one is important many of you will begin to see things that are there and have always been there. It won't just be out of the corner of your eye and then you turn and it's not there anymore. Many of you have had that experience and continue. Many of you now will see things very quickly. It might be just a short distance in front of your eyes or it might be a bit further and you might say, What's that? And then it's gone. But it will be right in front of you. So if you happen to be looking in that direction, you will see it. It might be a sudden light. It might be a sense of motion, a sense of movement without a physical presence. But you will have the sense that something moved. And what's behind that thing, that sense of motion, might even ripple a bit you will know that it didn't actually move, but it will give the impression of having moved, say a branch of a tree or a drape hanging over a window, something like that. So, again, I don't want you to worry about that. This has to do with your increasingly aligned physicality with your spirituality. As spirit, as soul, you see things that are there all the time. But on the physical plane, you've been uh, largely insulated from that. But now, as you're becoming more of your spirit self, as your day-to-day -day self, you will begin to see these things. 
It will not happen at a time when you need to pay attention to what you're doing, like operating heavy machinery or driving. But it could happen when you're relaxing or sitting, talking to friends, or just resting or reading a good book, perhaps, or watching TV. It could happen at the theater. Not a movie, but perhaps a play. But it will happen when it's all right to happen. You are seeing something that has to do with otherworldly phenomena. You call it phenomena because it's unexplained. But, in fact, it is like what you see when you are spirit and soul. It is another life. Maybe it's another one of your lives, or maybe it's another being coming and going who is not quite in the same dimension as you, but close to it. Take it as an acknowledgement that your spirit self is becoming more prominent in your day-to-day -day life, and it's truly a good thing. In time, there will be colors associated with this, gold and beautiful hues of green and blue. For some of you, that's already happened. At other times, there will even be little tones, not words so much, but something that is almost musical. When that happens, you can be pretty sure that angels are involved. I'll say more about these things in time, but I wanted to give you a little more because I know last week in the video from that time, it left you wanting a bit more. Good life.